Hey guys, how's it going? Um, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial with John. Um, in this session, I'm going to be showing you how to use the graph tool um, inside of Adobe Illustrator to create graphs, believe it or not. Um, now, when I was teaching this to my guys in uh, college, um, we got some statistics from the web of the demographics of Netflix. So, uh, 24 of them are 18 to 29 out of a selection, 24%, um, I think. Um, then I think like 25% 30 to 44, um, X amount then 34 odd percent for 45 to 64, and then 65 plus that's about probably 18. Um, so we'll just we'll just be using some random kind of figures for today. Um, fee then we've got male and female users, so 47.4% male, 52.6 female. Okay, so so we'll just kind of replicate in this using the graph tool, and then give it a little bit of 3D and um, the extrude and bevel and then give it a drop shadow all right so if we go file new um, I'm just gonna go and create a or oh, an a4 document like so um, landscape okay so if you come down to your toolbar on the right by here you've got something called column graph tool now if you hold your click down you can see you've got all manner of different ones in here um, what two I'm going to show you is the column graph and the pie graph, the two most popular really. So if I select this one, I'm just going to click and drag, okay, like so. And then when you do that, um, you get this little Excel sort of Excel sheet. So I'm going to go um, type in the first one, just a random figure, uh, 29. So hopefully they will all add up to 100. Um, 14 in this one. So 29 plus 14, that's 33. So I'm gonna put 33 in here. Um, no, that's 43. Um, so 29 plus 14 is 43 plus 33. So 73, 76, I think my maths is right. And then 24. Doesn't really matter if it's not. Um, but once you've got, let's, let's just hope and pray that that does add up to 100. Um, Anyway, once you've got this, all you want to do is click the tick bar, and that'll be that'll apply it. And then we've got our data in here. Okay, so um, if I just click close now, we've got all this. However, they're all black and white. And if you were to get your direct selection tool and select them and say try and change the color, let's put it to a red. It doesn't do anything. It just goes grey. What you need to do is select them. So shift select these with the direct selection tool. Come over here to your color tab, just pop it open. If you can't find it, go window and then color. Um, come into the drop down, change it to either RGB or CMYK. If it's for print, CMYK. If it's for screen, RGB. So I'm just going to change mine to RGB. And now you can pick a color for them. And so I'm probably going to go and I'll go with a green. Um, but I'll have a one shade of green for this one. Then this one, I'm going to make it slightly darker. Then this next one, I'm going to make this one slightly darker again. And then this one, I'm going to make even darker again. Okay, I think I'm going to make this one a little bit darker. There we go. Um, it doesn't really matter the look of them. I'm just going to show you what's going on. Um, what you want to do then below is get your little text tool. What's this? Maybe 29. So I'm going to put 29 there. You can put people, or you can you can write whatever you want. Um, but I'm just going to come here. I think I put 14 here. So four, ooh, 15. So 14. Let's get that. Move that down into place. Um, then get it again. I think this must be. I think this is 33, wasn't it? 33. And you can be more specific when you're writing yours. But then I think. We were left with, was it 24? It doesn't really matter, but we'll just grab this and pull it into line. Okay, um, let's just try and line them up a little bit more. Pudge that over a bit. Pull this one over a few. And then pull this one over. Okay, right. So we've got this. Um, the way we're going to kind of make it look a little bit better is by getting our direct selection tool, shift selecting all of these columns. If we then go to effect, then 3D extrude and bevel. Um, I'm going to zero out this one by here, and I think I'll go minus six. You, you can kind of um, 
you can kind of pull it round like like so. Um, so I'm going to go, if you want, but I'm going to go 6 and then minus 6. And I just know that those are the settings that I've used before and I, I quite like them. Um, you can have a look at a pre by previewing it. Now they have got a black line around the edge and that's because I've still got my stroke on so it won't actually look like that. Um, so if I click OK, you can play around with the um, shading, kind of with the light and everything. Um, but I'm just going to leave mine as is. I'm going to click OK and then come here and turn the stroke off. Okay, so this is what we're left with. Um, now, <clears throat> I may move this one over just a touch, just to give us some more space. And it's nice that Illustrator lets you do that. Um, so I think I'll move these over all together now, just to give it a little bit more space. Shift select these two to add them to the selection, move them over. Just so we, we've got more space going on, it, it looks nicer. Um, next thing is I'm going to select everything, or if you just click click it as a whole with the normal selection tool, it'll select it all. And we'll go window, uh, no sorry, effect, stylize, and drop shadow. Okay, again you can preview this one, um, and you can offset it on the X and Y axis. So I want to have it, if the lights kind of come in from here, I want to have it offset down a little bit like so. Yeah, I think something like Something like that's going to be okay. You can you can blur it more or kind of less, um, kind of up to you. Uh, I, what I didn't do is um, I didn't select these numbers down the bottom. Um, so what I'm going to do is set this to three, seventy-five multiply. Click OK, and I'm going to do the same for these now. So select them, effect, three D, no, stylize, drop shadow, and yeah, I think that's the so three. I'm not sure if that's the same settings, but yeah, let's, 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 let's just go with that. Cool. So we've got that. So next I'm just going to show you the same thing, um, but creating a pie chart. So just to reiterate, if we go pie graph tool this time, click and draw, <clears throat> and let's say it's like male, female. So um, what were the figures we had in here? 52.6 and 47.4. Okay, so 52.6. Six and 40, 47.4. Okay, so click there, and then you've got this. So the same again. Highlight them. Highlight um, both. Come to the color. Go RGB. So we can go like so and turn them a different color. So if we click the color here, there we go. Ah, so it's not doing it. RGB because we were on the stroke. We were. That's why. So we'll make this one a slightly darker shade of blue. So we've got some difference there. Maybe let's go even darker. And I'm going to turn stroke for both of them. Oop, I'm going to turn stroke off. So we haven't got any stroke on there. And again, you can get your text tool. 52.7% um, female. And I can't remember what the other one was. 52.6 and 47.4. So 52.6 and what was it? 47.4? Don't even know if they add up actually. Um, but you kind of get the drift. 47.4. I don't even know if that doesn't feel to me like it makes 100. It may, may do though. Um, my maths ain't great, obviously. You can tell. Um, okay, male. And then same again. You can kind of resize that to make it look better. If we select them, um, so with our direct selection tool, shift, effect, 3D, extrude and bevel, um, 6, and then I think I went minus 6, pull this one to 0, give it a preview, and you can also bring out this bevel so it goes a little bit deeper, um, something like that. Click OK, and then select them all. Um, effect, stylize, drop shadow, preview, and yeah, something like that's quite nice and subtle. And click OK. Right then, so um, didn't do it was it wasn't a specifically long tutorial, but I just wanted to show you how to make these um, graphs inside of um, Illustrator. Because if you're doing some infographic work, it can be really really helpful. Okay, so um, yeah, that's it really. 
cheers for tuning in guys um be sure to like rate and subscribe um check out the rest of our illustrator tutorials after effects photoshop maya and nuke tutorials but yeah cheers for tuning in and hopefully catch you again soon